What's up you guys, Nicola here and today we'll be talking about a topic I'm really passionate about and that is web development. We'll be talking about front-end and back-end, what they are and how are they different. I'll try to explain this as simple as possible so be sure to watch the video until the end and of course subscribe and leave a like, it really helps me out. We'll be talking about these three terms today, front-end, back-end and the database. So let's start with the front-end. When you go to any website, the front end of that website is what you see. So let's use Google search engine as an example to explain this stuff. When you go to the official Google website, what do you see? There's an input box and a few buttons and if you search for something, Google results page comes up. And of course, Google probably optimized the hell out of this thing, but essentially you can make something similar like this in a day or two in basic HTML. But the hard stuff comes with the Google's backend. The backend of the website lives on the servers and you can think of servers as other people's computers. When you see a website, everything you see is shown on your browser and you can access everything you see. For example, you can go right click inspect element and you can change code or design of the website, but it changes only for you. But you cannot see the backend code of the website. Why not? One reason is that it actually executes on the servers as opposed to the front-end code which executes on the front-end. But the other one we're gonna talk about today is security reasons. And now we get to the question from the title. So recently I saw this question and everyone mocked the person who asked it, but I actually think it's a really valid question for beginners. And the question is why can't you just connect front-end to the database? Why do you even need the back-end in the first place? You could connect the front-end to the database directly, but imagine you have a database with passwords in plain text and don't do that ever. Imagine you can connect to it directly from the front-end and in theory, you can see everything, change everything and delete everything because there's no way for a website to know who you are. The back-end exists for those security reasons on the backend, you can limit what different people can do. For example, if they don't have administrator accounts, they can't do anything harmful to the database. Backend checks who sends the request and based on that does some stuff. For example, when you log into the website, it knows who you are and what you can see. When I log into my Instagram account, I can only see the images of people I follow. Backend knows who I am and serves me those images. So everyone on Instagram sees different pictures because they follow different people. There's another reason the backend exists and that is to give you an option to like this video right now, it really helps me out. But for real guys, there's another reason the backend exists and it is for doing the heavy lifting. Some computer operations are actually more consuming than the others. So most of the heavy operations are actually done on the backend and sent to the frontend. Let's take something fun as an example of this. For example, you make an awesome artificial intelligence app where you can upload your data and the app creates a perfect replica of yourself. And just a quick note, all of your data means all of your data. For example, the time you brush your teeth, the way you talk, what you talked about ever since you were born and stuff like that. Now this is impossible to have of course, but this is just hypothetical. All this data would be in millions of gigabytes if not more. Now imagine that someone with a really old PC and an old version of Internet Explorer wants to use your app. It would take him a lot of years to finish those actions on his frontend. So if he just uploads the data, those actions can be finished on some supercomputer backend server and just sent to the frontend much faster. This is just a crazy example and that much data would still need a lot of time even on the backend, but I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So let's have a quick summary. Frontend is what you see on the website. From the frontend, you can send requests to the backend and ask it to do some stuff for you. Backend is what protects the website and the database and it does the heavy lifting. The database is where the data is stored. So the backend interacts with that data and sends it to the frontend. So that's basically how it works. I explained it as simple as I could. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, subscribe and leave a like. It really motivates me to make more educational videos like this one. See you in the next video.